Where did you run into Chuck? Uh, in Nashville. We were it's doing a show there. He's yeah. helping his son be a country musician. In uh -huh. three, two. It's great to uh, be with you. I've watched you in so many movies, and MacArthur is one of my favorites. I don't think it's one of yours, though, is it? Well, it is, as a matter of fact. Uh, as far as the character is concerned, I really enjoyed trying to play that character. I, I admit that I was not terribly happy with the script they gave me or with the production they gave me, which was mostly on the back lot at Universal. I thought they shortchanged the production. But I liked the character, and I think I gave a pretty good representation of him. Oh, you and that. the best lines in the picture, by far, were MacArthur's own speeches. Mm -hmm. No no scriptwriter could produce prose like that, Victorian rolling cadences. Uh, so I, I like that part of it. Uh, despite the fact it's about an ugly thing like war, it's a very inspirational film, mm. as so many of your parts have been. When you play, we're talking about a priest that you played earlier in a television movie. Uh, do you, what kind of part do you look for? When you, something with a lot of ambition, I know, but what are you looking for when you see a script? Well, just something colorful. Uh, whether he's a good guy or a bad guy is not the important thing. Uh, complex, complexity, uh, unpredictability. I have played a lot of predictable uh, fellows on, uh, as a screen hero and uh, leader of the expedition, uh, 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 commander of the squadron, uh, commander of uh, one of uh, Her Majesty's ships, where uh, what I do is quite predictable. I do the right thing. I do my duty. And uh, I was useful for many years in parts like that. I mean, if somebody has to play those parts, the hero role. But lately, in the last 10 or 15 years, I think I've been getting stuff with more complexity, uh, more salt and pepper, more humor, more character. And I'm in, enjoying myself as a character actor. Do you like the first 20 years better than the second 20 years? I personally like the Gregory Peck of the last 20 years, but that's just my personal choice. Well, I think I got a little bit better at it as I went along. I mean, it's almost inevitable. You keep at it long enough, you begin to get the idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm capable of bringing more interest to a part now than I ever was before. What do you think about seeing you as an old geezer up there uh, like you were in Old Gringo? This old character that's, uh, you know, bitter and he's mm -hmm. uh, drinks a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. He's a real character. I mean, what do you think about that kind of part? I kind of liked him, you know. I think he's intensely human. Mm -hmm. A lot of weaknesses, a lot of talent, uh, major talent as a writer and a kind of cavalier attitude about death. Things are not going so well for him in the States. He's alienated from his family. His 12-volume edition of his collected works was a failure. I like an old guy who decides to go off and join up with Pancho Villa mm -hmm. and maybe get killed uh, uh, in the process. Uh, it's a matter of indifference to him. Uh, and a long, colorful career behind him and a career as a hard drinker and a lady chaser and a fearsome muckraker in, in his journalistic career and a writer of some short stories that, that will last, uh, an important minor figure in American letters. Yeah, I, I don't think of him as an old geezer. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I think of him as, a, as a, a very interesting, complex, likable old guy with a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of courage in his makeup. Are you still pretty politically active? Now and then, yeah. I try not to be a gadfly and run around supporting everything and everybody. I but was thinking of your former, you call him a uh, former friend of Ronald Reagan. Hmm. I saw him with a shaved head the other day after this terrible operation. I know. You know that was that was bad, but I always you know you're the same generation of actor as Ronald. I mean, you you never really experienced the success oh. in that part of the world as you did. But uh, there are not many people like you two guys, and I hate to put you both in the same pot because I don't think you may like that. But uh, there's a different class of actor that you came from that school. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? There's the young guys; they don't seem to know how to do it as well. Not in the skill part, yeah. but just to behave. Well, Ronnie was here a few years before I was and he's a few years older. Uh, my contemporaries are Kirk Douglas and Burt Lancaster. Uh, we all came out here from Broadway roughly the same time. Um, if you're asking me my feelings about Ronald Reagan, uh, my feelings are certainly admiration for the way he handles these uh, uh, 
uh, these d d dramatic things that have happened to him, mm -hmm. the operation the other day, the surgery when he was president, getting shot early in his administration. He showed a lot of courage and a lot of humor, and I admire that. Uh, this is not the place for me to say which of his policies I disagree with. Mm -hmm. It's not that kind of a program. But uh, if I met him today, and in fact I did recently, we're cordial to each other. I mean, this is the man who was the president of the United States. I respect that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep working? And uh, Now and then. Now and then. When it's fun, when it's the right thing? When it's a good script. Uh, I'll even go further and say when it's a top quality script. I, I found somehow the, uh, the uh, uh, gumption to turn down a lot of pretty good scripts because I know that at best they're only going to be pretty good no matter what we do with it. So I wait now until something special comes along. Meantime, I'm busy. My life is full. My wife and I are globetrotters. I have four kids that are all doing interesting things. I follow them closely. I garden, I build stone walls. Still play uh, guitar? <laughs> you're thinking of Duel in the Sun? <laughs> I never could play the guitar <laughs> or sing either. You've got a long memory. I was uh, going through you know, this lengthy, it's, it's a wonderful resume because it has so many different things. Your career, I guess, is variety was one of the big things that I noted. Was that conscious decision or just work out that way from the romantic comedies to the soldiers to the priests to everything? to the lawyers? It was on purpose. I came, I, had a, I did a lot of plays in the theater, 30 mm -hmm. to 40. And uh, w the idea was variety. But isn't that hard to do in Hollywood? They want to put you if you're good at something and, and just keep making you do that part well, over again? Well, they tried and to some extent they did. I played that leading man yeah. hero role quite a few times. But I did uh, turn down some things that were repeats of what I'd already done because I wanted variety, and I got a certain amount of it anyway. I always hate to ask this question, but I'll ask it anyway. When someone is uh, as, as wonderful as you have been in Hollywood and winning Lifetime Achievement Awards and all these things like that, how do you want to be remembered when someone looks back and says, Gregory Peck, you know, what kind of actor was he? How do you want to be remembered in this life? You know, I haven't given that any deep thought. <laughs> uh, well, I know that one thing I'm going to be remembered for and it's probably going to be the lead line in my obit is Oscar for To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm -hmm. More people remind me of that and talk to me and write to me than about any other film. So I'll almost settle for that uh, because maybe that was the closest thing to the real me, hmm. To Kill a Mockingbird. But as a working actor who uh, always gave it his best shot and did the best he could and tried to give the people their money's worth. I'll settle for that too. And he did it with a lot of class. Congratulations on your latest part. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. your coming.